Hello everyone. Welcome to Hooks and Stitches. My name's Natasha. I thought I'd do a quick video, seeing as I'm walking home. I'm not doing the challenge anymore, obviously, but I thought I might as well give you a small update as to what I've been getting up to for the last week. And oh, I'm really annoyed. I'm annoyed about the fact that I was literally two squares short on the baby blanket in the minty colour and so I tried to find one that was similar to see if I could get away with it because I only had the one ball of which I got from the Good Vibes Yarn mystery bag and thought oh, I'll be fine if I hadn't just made the mistake and then was a unable to unpick it I'd have been alright so I bought one that was extremely similar but not the same and I had to unpick everything all back again so that I could save the dark colour and and then restart it so on Saturday morning I went to get that and then Saturday uh, today's Tuesday by the way uh, but anyway Saturday afternoon and then the whole of Sunday I was just madly trying to get the squares done so that I could get back to where I was before I had to frog it all how annoying that is but it's all right I mean I've had to put I've had to put magic knots in it you know to rejoin the yarn again from each individual square because I'd lovingly done each one as you go and tied in all the ends and oh what palaver but we don't need to worry because it's almost done again I think I've got 12 more uh, squares to get back to where I was before I had to frog it all and then um, I put a photo up yesterday on my YouTube community section of the little uh, giraffe mug cosy that I made for a colleague's birthday and I um, and that was fine you know and that was all wonderful and everything but I didn't have time to actually make a video and show so I took a photo and I've put it there for everyone to see so that it didn't get lost in the things that I have been getting up to um, because I hate doing things without showing you what I get up to because what would the point of that be? Anyway, so that's really all I've been doing. I've done a few rows of white on the Christmas character blankets, uh, blanket, but I haven't really um, done a lot of that obviously because I've been trying desperately to get the baby blanket done so I'm going to do some more later on and hopefully it will get done um, you know and it will all be fine and I will get it sorted out and gifted after I give it a little wash um, I've got a border to do but I'm going to um, borders really uh, quite quite simple to knock up and go round I think I'm going to use a block stitch one because that tends to look 
fine um, on a sea to sea because obviously that's blocks itself uh, so it's fine I think I'm going to do that and I'll probably do about three rows and see what that looks like it also depends on how much yarn I've got left but I'm hoping to still have 50 grams of the dark one so I thought if I can even if it means that I just do the dark border um, with white in between maybe um, I'm not going to worry if I haven't got the light green left uh, what else can I tell you um, I'm still thinking about an amigurumi to do because um, I really enjoyed doing the mug cosy so that's really good although it hasn't been used as a mug cosy um, I put it round a jam jar and I gave it a jam jar because I said you know you can either have it or leave it but it was nice to kind of stretch it into into that kind of shape um, and she's using it for pens on her desk so that's really good too um, it's always nice to have things like that um, as a little reminder um, and I love homemade gifts anyway so I'm pleased that I can actually pass things on to the people that I work with that love it just as much as I do so that's really good um, yeah so I'm thinking about um, an amigurumi but I'm not I'm not 100% sure I want to get this baby blanket out of the way the other thing is that I've narrowed down the hook for the Dream Big Little One blanket that I was doing to a pink one. And in Susan Bates, the pink ones, um, obviously other than really tiny, which I know it wasn't really tiny, um, is either a 4 or a 4.5. So it rules out the fact that it could have been a 3.75. So I'm just going to do a 3... Point five, uh, four point five hook, and I'm just going to blast that afterwards as well, because I'm so close to finishing that I just want to get it over and done with now. So um, I'll be showing progress on that once I've done it. Maybe by the weekend, um, I'll hopefully get the deer started. But it's only a pie in the sky at the moment. There's no promises there because. I'm really not sure how it's going to go but it's fine and it will be fine the the cooler weather needs to hurry up and come because at the weekend we were all in our um vest tops and three-quarter length trousers i mean we've been spoiled really uh, it was really really warm and to this afternoon it's been warm too but it's gone a bit cooler now which is nice especially as soon as I'm walking home because it means I won't sweat buckets but sorry about the traffic but yeah so it's all right we can we can live I was thinking about even catching the bus, but the bus was another 43 minutes to wait and I can get home in that time, so I don't see the point really. Because by the time I've caught the bus for 15 minutes and then walked home from the bus stop, it just doesn't seem worth it. So I thought, I'll just walk, it'll be fine. Um, as for my weight, because I've been updating you whilst I was doing my... Um, walking challenge um, I lost another 100 grams this week which doesn't seem a lot and I'm wavering between the you know between the odds uh, literally half a kilo you know here and there but it's all right it's still a loss I'm still happy with what I'm doing and I had a fish and chip supper last week. Um, so it was just really nice um, to not have to worry about it. And I hadn't had fish for so long. And I really fancied it. And 
you have to go with what you fancy nowadays you know you just as long as it's not every single day it's fine to have a little bit of what you what you really want to have without feeling guilty about it and that's the good thing about intermittent fasting too I don't actually feel guilty because my body is changing all the time and so I'm not bothered about what the scales say as I've said lots of times in my other videos um, and as long as I don't get complacent it'll be fine so it's all right I'm looking forward to shedding a little bit more so that I can enjoy some Christmas goodies because I like a mince pie and um, I like the stolen and things all the things that you're not meant to have but I figured that it's not going to hurt because there's ways around it I don't eat for that much for that long and I get full really quickly now so it's not like I need to worry about overeating either so I think all in all everything's on the up and I'm gradually getting there with all the things that I want to achieve uh, crochet wise and other so I think that's it from me the traffic's just whizzing past me and uh, oh I'm still watching my uh, alone um, it's the USA one um, and they've been to the Arctic and they've been to Canada and things in different series and I think I'm on series 9 now but I love to watch that in the um, in the evenings whilst I'm crocheting away and it's really nice just to see how they cope and the different things and I love the starry skies as well the skies abroad seem to be so different than over here you never see very many stars at all but over there it just looks like a galaxy of stars it's just amazing so there are pluses and I really like to watch um, Bake Off too but I've got to make sure that I'm really full up because otherwise if I'm not it triggers me to want to eat things so I've got to make sure that I watch it after my uh, eating window closes and the fact that I'm full so I've got the second one I think it is to watch because I've only watched one so far so I might watch that later too I'm not too tired because I have been feeling quite tired today but, and also I'll tell you something else I have been feeling like I'm really tired I have been feeling like um, I am really tired after I've eaten it's almost like I just want to go off into a food coma and I'm not having soup this week because I got really fed up with it so I've been having um, veg and some hummus uh, and um, I've been taking some red pepper some carrot and some celery um, garden uh, like I like peas like the sweet hmm. oh I can't remember what they're called sugar oh sugar snap peas I like those as well but I can't find them very often at all so um, when I find them I can have them it's probably out of season now probably but um, that's what I've been having along with my chia seeds that I normally have 
and I can now tolerate grating ginger um, into it um, as well and sometimes I soak it in hot water first but other times I just grate it in alongside my grated carrot and that and so it's all superfood that I can use um, to aid my weight loss and that's fine so and I love I say weight loss I mean you don't lose weight necessarily do you but I quite like the fact that I've got shapely and I might actually take a screenshot of it and um, put it in the community page for those of you that would be interested in it um, because at least then you can see what I'm on about um, but anyway I've had a few new subscribers which I'm really pleased about and um, if you can carry on liking sharing and commenting that would make me smile a lot um, because I love to see my channel growing I'm almost at 400 now so I'm even closer to my 500 goal and I think when I do reach 500 I think I might aim for 550 and just just go up in little amounts because I feel like I've um, done really well to to grow it to nearly 500 already well ne almost 400 then but you know I'm close to 500 and I'm really looking forward to seeing um, how it pans out although I'm not really sure whether there's something wrong with my videos that I'm posting or anything um, but I haven't had any comments and I'm not sure whether I can actually have comments on the videos that I posted um, because I always used to get them so I'm not sure whether people have just decided not to or whether they're unable to so if someone could leave a comment just to see if that is actually something um, that is happening I would be grateful too but I've been talking 17 minutes now so I'm going to go because otherwise it's going to take an absolute age to upload it when I get home. So thank you for watching and listening to me and I will see you all again soon with a visual update of my blanket and everything um, when I have completed it. So take care lovelies, see you all again very soon. Bye.